blog here, and this uh, chapter deals with some geometry. This is one of my favorite parts to teach. This is what I teach in high school. I've been teaching geometry forever, it seems. So uh, here we're going to talk about lines, rays, and angles. Oh, my. Okay, so our common core strand is uh, we're going to draw and identify lines and angles and classify shapes by the properties of their lines and angles. Okay, so our essential question is how can we identify and draw points, lines, line segments, rays, and angles? Okay, we're going to do all of that today. So... Okay, so every day we see geometric shapes, you know, for example, the dot in the letter I. This little dot right here models uh, a point, okay? Um, uh, or this period right here models a point right here. The foul line in a baseball field models a line. Uh, and arrows could be like an arrow, a bow and arrow. The arrow part could be a ray, okay? It's just a part of a line is a ray. So so here's what we're going to uh, uh, gonna. Start giving you some definitions. We're going to draw these things, and uh, I'll talk about each one right here. So a point is just a position in space, you guys. There's there's points all over your classroom or your or your house. There, uh, you know, if you just held up, if you pointed your finger and, and looked at the tip of your finger right there, there's a point at the tip of your finger. There's a point if you looked up at the light up at the ceiling. There's a point up there. If you can just use your imagination. It's just a, a position in space, you know, you can kind of think of it like a molecule or something, you know, it's just, it's a small little point right there, okay? So uh, when we draw it, we'll just do a little dot right there, and we'll, you know, with the letter right there, this letter says it's point A, okay? So this, this right here says point A, okay? And that's what we write, we write point A, okay? So the example is, is right here at the tip of this uh, uh, pen right here, there's a point right here, or actually anywhere on this pen, I can put a point right there. You know, you can a point can go anywhere. A point can be right here in this in the corner of this rectangle right here. So there's all kinds of points in your in your classroom, uh, at your house, all kinds. A line is a straight path uh, of all points that go forever in both directions. So here I have a line that uh, and it's shown uh, it's containing the points B and C. And you notice it goes through BC forever in both directions, and it's straight. It doesn't do any curving things. That wouldn't be called a line anymore. A line is a straight line, uh, and it goes forever in both directions. That's why you see the arrows on that, okay? So you can call this line BC or line CB. It doesn't matter which letter you want to choose to go first, okay? And to write it, we write BC with a line symbol on top. That's our line symbol on top with arrows on both sides. If it didn't have arrows, that would be a line segment. That's coming up. So, for example, like um, the finish line, you know, that line right there. Um, or this is this could be represented as a line if, if the arrows went on in both directions and so on. So, so um, uh, let's see. A line segment, you guys, is a part of a line uh, between two endpoints. So here... Uh, line segments, they stop at two end points, okay? So uh, the end points on this one are D and E. So this would be called line segment. When there's no arrows on it, it's a line segment, okay? So line segment DE or line segment ED. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Now, see, this is how we write it, you guys. We write the, the capital letters DE or ED, and you put a little line segment on top without the arrows. Without the arrows, that mathematically means line segment. So this says line segment DE. This says, or line segment ED, okay? It's the same line segment, okay? And here's an example. This stop sign has eight line segments. Here's one, here's another, here's another, and all the way around, there's eight line segments right there, okay? Um, lines go on forever. And, and if you want to get, you know, uh, picky about it, you can say that this is a line segment also because this doesn't go on forever, okay? So if it goes on forever and ever and ever, it's a line, it's a line. And if it has endpoints, then it, it's called a line segment. Okay, a ray is a part of a line um, that has uh, an endpoint and goes on forever and ever and ever. Okay. Now I don't like to say it's an endpoint. I like to say it's a starting point. But even my geometry books in high school, they call this an endpoint. But it actually starts at F here and it goes through G and it goes past G forever and ever and ever. That's what this arrow means forever. So this would be called ray FG, okay? And you always do it with your starting point. It starts here and goes through the other one. And you, again, your book and my geometry book in high school calls it the endpoint F, 
but it's actually the starting point, okay, or the beginning point. So this is called ray FG, and we only put the arrow over the G because it goes through G and past G forever, okay? And like an arrow, like I said, an arrow for a bow and arrow, that could be um, a physical feature that represents um, a ray. All right, so let's draw and label line segment JK. This says line segment JK, okay? You can just draw any line segment with the endpoints J and K, okay? All right, nice and easy. Is there another way you can say line segment JK? You bet. You can call it by switching the letters. You can call it line segment KJ. So I start here and it ends here. Line segment KJ. Okay, so when naming a line segment, either point can be named first on that. All right, so explain how lines, line segments, and rays can be related. Okay, so a ray is just a part of a line. So here's ray AB. Okay, starts at A and it goes through B, past B forever and ever. So there's uh, that's why it says uh, we got the arrow going through B. So this would be ray AB, which is written like this. So recognize this says ray AB. This right here says it's a ray because there's an arrow only on one side. Okay, and the arrow goes on the side that has the arrow up here. So this side has the arrow over B. So ray AB, and this tells me right here that A is the starting point. If there's not an arrow right there, so there's an end point at A, but it actually starts at A and goes through B. Okay, so, um, and, and ray AB is a part of line, so pretend like uh, that green part is a part of that line right there. Can you see line AB? So ray AB is a part of line AB, and the direction said, how can we relate these to lines and line segments? Okay, so over here I have line segment CD, okay? I'm sorry, line, line, this represents line CD, or we can call it line DC. It doesn't matter which you want to start. So from this, I can get um, uh, uh, ray. Here's ray CD, starting at C, going towards D and past D. That's what this says right here. The arrow goes through D. So you start it at C, and then it goes through, the arrow goes through D. Or you can start it at D, and then go through, so this one says, starts at D, goes through C. So here's D, goes through C. So here's, here's ray DC, starts here and goes this way. Okay, here's ray CD, starts at C and goes this way. Okay, so these guys are going in opposite directions. Okay, all right. So a line segment can be part of a line or a ray or another line segment. So Let's see, what did I do on this one? Did I do that? Yeah, so above, over here, I can, do, I can get line segment AB, okay? This says line segment AB, okay? And it's the same as line segment BA, okay? AB, line segment BA, and line segment AB are the same. Up here, I can get line segment CD or line segment DC, okay? Notice uh, no arrows on it means line segment. Get used to writing that. Uh, you're going to have to get used to writing all that, okay? All right, so definition, an angle formed by two rays or segments uh, that have the same endpoint, it's called the vertex. So here's an angle. It's formed by two rays, ray QR and ray QP, and has the same endpoint, and it's actually the same starting point, you guys. I like to call the same endpoint means the same starting point. They start at this point right here, and then the ray is QP, and ray QR right there, okay? And so the vertex, you guys, is, is vertex Q, okay? The same end point, the same starting point is the Q. is called the vertex right here, okay? So you can read it as angle PQR or angle RQP, or in this case, you can call it angle Q right here, okay? And then you write it like this, you guys. You put an angle symbol in front of it. So instead of writing the word A-N-G-L-E, you can put this angle symbol, angle PQR, angle RQP, or angle Q. Now, if there is more than one angle there, see right here, I can't call this angle B because there's three angles there. There's angle ABC uh, or angle uh, ABD, this angle right here, or angle DBC. Okay, so there's this angle, this angle, and then the whole entire angle. So I can't say angle B with this one because there's three different angles right there. So when you got more than one angle right there, then you got to use all three letters. So if I'm talking about this one, I'm going to say angle ABD. Notice B is always the middle one right here. Just remember when you name an angle using three points, the vertex is always the point in the middle. Okay, notice how I write this. This is my angle symbol. Okay. 
All right, what else do we have? So an example like a slice of pie, there's an angle right there. See that angle right there? Okay, there's all kinds of angles in your classroom. Angles are classified by the size of their opening. So a right angle forms a square corner. This is called a right angle if you see a little square corner right there. Okay, you'll learn a little bit later that right angles are 90 degrees. A straight angle forms a straight line. So as long as it makes up a straight line, it's called a straight angle. An acute angle is an angle that's open less than a, than a right angle. Okay? And then an obtuse angle is an angle that's open more than a right angle. Can you see that this is open more than this angle over here? So we have a right, a straight, an acute angle, and an obtuse angle right there. All right, so here we go. We've got to figure name a line segment. Well, there's all kinds of line segments. I'm only going to select a few of them. Line BE, here's a line segment. So input, I'm sorry, uh, line segment BE. So it would be start here and end way over here. There's line segment BE. Line segment GD, GD starts here, right here. So it's this line segment. AG is this one, starts, oops. Oh, not AG. AG doesn't work. Sorry, this one's no good. This should be BG. Woo! I made a mistake. AG doesn't work right there. This should be uh, BG. Uh, let me put that B in there, okay? That should be line segment BG, so BG right there, okay? Name a right angle. All right, my right angle is right here, okay? See that right angle right there? So angle BGD, okay? Name an obtuse angle. Okay, my obtuse angle is not this one. This is also a right angle on this side over here. In fact, these are all right angles right here. We'll talk about that later right there. If you have two intersecting lines and one's a right angle, all four of them are right angles. So these are all right angles. Here's the obtuse angle right here. It's open more than the right angle. So angle C, B, D. Okay? In fact, I highlighted it right there in red. Name a ray. Okay, there's all kinds of rays. There's one ray, ray GH. Notice I started at G, goes through H, and forever past H. So the arrow goes over the H right there. Starts at G and goes through. So ray GH. Here's another one. Ray BA. Starts at B, goes through A, the arrow goes over A. Okay, the arrow goes over A. Whoops, I got company here. Uh, here's another one. I have company. I'm going to answer that later. Okay, and then there's another one, and there's infinitely many more. Okay, so classify uh, these angles. Angle AFG. Okay, here's AFG. That's an obtuse angle. Okay, how about CFE? That's a right angle right there. How about uh, two acute angles? I'm going to show you several acute angles. There's one acute angle right there. I think it was UPS leaving a package. There's one acute angle. Okay, here's another acute. So notice it goes angle D, F, E. I could have said angle E, F, D if I wanted to. It's the same angle. Here's another acute angle. It's just less than 90. It's open less than 90. Here's another one. Angle D, F, C. Okay, there's another one right there. Here's another right angle, or acute angle. Okay, as long as it's open less than 90. Angle uh, C, F, B. Notice B is always in, or F is always in the middle. It's always the vertex right there. Here's another one right there, okay? So it said name two, well, I just showed you four. Okay, so angle B, F, A. I can say angle A, F, B also. That's the same angle right there. All right, okay, if you find these uh, videos helpful, I would appreciate it if you can put like on that, okay? Take care, everybody.